By definition, it is an acute inflammatory process of the pancreas with a variable involvement of other regional tissues or even remote organ systems. The actual pathogenesis is the inactive trypsinogen synthesized in the acinar cells of the pancreas are converted to trypsin within the acinar cells themselves in sufficient quantities to overwhelm the normal mechanisms to remove the active trypsin. So, the conversion is too fast and too huge and the actual uh, activated trypsin causes damage to the uh, site of production which is the pancreatic acini and the site of conductance which is the pancreatic ductal system. So, it starts with acinar cell injury and uh, proceeds with uh, ductal necrosis. When the whole organ is involved, it can take initially an interstitial form where recovery and restitution is possible, but it can also proceed to necrotizing pancreatitis where the course is quite severe. When the whole pancreas is damaged and if the pancreatic duct is severely injured, even a single episode of acute pancreatitis can lead to chronic pancreatitis. But as you can see later in the etiological profile, most of the situations which cause acute pancreatitis can also cause a recurrent or chronic pancreatitis. So, with each passing episode of acute pancreatitis, there is an incremental increase in the fibrotic process during healing which can lead to chronic pancreatitis. So, a severe acute episode say in 10 percent can lead to chronic pancreatitis, but if the etiology is, uh, is going to be persistent like um, uh, alcoholism, then the chance of recurrence and chronicity is uh, more. So, this is a picture, uh, there is saponification and uh, uh, fat necrosis initially within the pancreas and later in the peripancreatic space, uh, but it can involve uh, the mesentery and uh, the whole peritoneal cavity and even uh, extra abdominal organs like uh, thorax, thoracic cavity including the pleural space. And this is the specimen of uh, uh, severe uh, necrotic uh, pancreatitis also called uh, hemorrhagic pancreatitis. At uh, pathophysiology level, there is uh, initial microcirculatory injury at the capillary level uh, which leads to uh, leukocyte uh, chemoattraction cytokines are released which are pro-inflammatory leading to oxidative stress overwhelming the antioxidant mechanisms and this invites a bacterial translocation and all these uh, process uh, concoction uh, leads to severe inflammatory response syndrome and it is a, a sterile necrosis of the pancreas and when it is severe it's a, it is produces similar clinical picture like severe burns or major trauma or a severe shock due to uh, sepsis or uh, myocardial infarction. So, uh, at the uh, end of the spectrum of uh, clinical manifestations, acute pancreatitis uh, uh, simulates uh, other serious medical emergencies which uh, culminate in severe inflammatory response syndrome. So, to summarize, you can see the inactive trypsinogen is cleaved into active trypsin and the activation peptide is cleaved and excreted and this is one of the marker of severity when measured later during the course. If you look at the stages of pancreatitis, initially it is a pancreatic injury starting with edema, inflammation, fat necrosis within the pancreas and then necrosis of the pancreatic secretory cells. Later, uh, the local effects in the peripancreatic region leads to retroperitoneal edema, extensive fat necrosis, ileus especially of the duodenum and the proximal small bowel and there is a sequestration of fluid within the third space leading to decreased in effective circulating volume, uh, dehydration and poor organ perfusion leading to the stage 3 which is a, a systemic remote complications manifesting as hypotension, shock, metabolic acidosis, hyperglycemia, hypocalcemia, hypomagnesemia and organ failure of which uh, renal, respiratory and circulatory are of profound importance and there is sepsis. Um, pancreatic organ failure can even affect the brain causing metabolic encephalopathy and even it can affect the retina. There is a, a special form of Pushner's retinopathy which is a manifestation of severe pancreatitis. So, it is a 
a severe inflammatory response syndrome affecting locally in the region, local regionally as well as in a systemic fashion.